Hi guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. Uh, my next kit, excuse me, my next kit is going to be the this Kinetic again uh, Hawk Trainer 127 series or 100 series. This is the 127, um, the one I'm going to be doing. Oh, we we'll just get on and have a look at it, shall we? Let's go and do that. I'll see you in a sec. Okay, lads, let's uh, let's take a look in the box. Um, <laughs> what I always seem to get with my boxes, I don't know about you, they all come always come falling apart. Anyway, that's the front of the of this box. It's quite a it's not a particularly big box, to be honest with you, because it is 132. Um but I'm struggling to get it into my um into shop. But we'll have a quick look on the sides here because it's a little bit something a bit more of interest than, than what you'd normally um have if you want to look at that bit of uh, write up about the um, the Hawk trainer, got some nice photos. That side the kit number is uh, K3206. That's something on there, the letter of dump, and that on there, same as the other side. Oop. Wrong way around. Um, box art is, you know. Okay, I suppose. Um, so I've got to show you the inside. Just to show you this is all as all comes sealed. What I'm going to do is uh, take all the gear, all the stuff out of the bags, because really you don't want to see someone taking plastic out of plastic bags. It's pretty boring. Okay, so um, see you in a sec. So we've got no surprises in in what this sprue is all about. Well, a little bit of a warp on that look. Um, fuselage, quite obviously. Uh, nice detail. Um, is that a texture? There's a little texture. Funny little texture on that. Um, the rivets on the back here seem does seem to be a bit too massive. I'm no expert. On the Hawk trainer, I'm no expert on much things really, but um, don't expect this to be a full breakdown of every nut and bolt on it. But they do seem to be a little bit, um, what's the word, in your face. But at least they're there. Um, so uh, details quite quite good everywhere else. Uh, it does fade a little bit in certain areas. No, that looks fine internally. Um, cockpit's got something going on. Though inter interestingly, if I can get my words out, um, that one, this ribbon is more pronounced than, than the front cockpit, which is interesting, which I hope you can see. Move on now to the wings. As you can see, it's got that funny texture again. You might not be able to see that. Um, all the details there. We've got planet, la planet, planet lines, panel lines, which are possibly a shade too too deep, but I ain't worried. Um, vortex generators. The the I tell you what, look. I don't know whether you can see this. I'll make take a photo. Inconsistent depth in uh, panel lines and on rivets on these panels on the front, which is a bit of a shame. So they disappears completely here. It's like a trench there, and it's like nothing there. Oh well, not a lot you can do about it. A um, little bit for the for the uh, wheel bay. That looks quite chunky though. Um, so there you go, that's not too bad at all, I suppose. Oh, like I say, I ain't an expert. Good enough for me. Moving on to some smaller parts, um, we have a the seat. We have 
um, we have we have we have uh, combing and, and the central combing part we've got one piece um, undercarriage struts nice um, instrument panels which is <laughs> which is a bit of a shame because I'll, I'll show you why in a minute um, that's quite nice then uh, uh, gear bay doors look okay to me we've got um, two piece wheels rims odds and sods pit up tube well that's going to go I'm not using that that's not too bad it's a little bit burry it's not quite as sharp as you'd as like say a tammy kit would be obviously but you know it's okay This one is cockpit, which is quite nice. Which is nicely detailed. Um, the switches, which again, which is a bit of a shame for me. <laughs> There's nothing inside for the uh, front wheel bay. Um, this would be the air brake area. Not a lot going on. Don't know if they're supposed to be. I wouldn't have thought there'd be much actually in there in a real aircraft. Uh, front part of the fuselage there. Uh, two piece intakes, which is going to give us a nice scene. Whether you'd see that, um, I don't know. Possibly be um, whatever colour it is, I, I guess it depends. White, I'd assume. Um, fan. For the engine, you probably won't see that anyway. So that's not a bad little sprue. Shame about that. And the final sprue uh, will be this bit of um, stuff on here. So we've obviously got. Uh, we've obviously got the um, um, sidewinder, which is which isn't brilliant. The detail on there look, fades away here. It's not sharp at all. Um, but hey, you know, I, I, I've got nothing to replace it with, so I'll have to use it. Um, fuel tank, centerline tank, and some flaps and stuff going on here uh, internal for the um, wheel bay. Bit more for the um, for the uh, sidewinder. Yeah. So it's all okay. It, it, it kinetic. It's not. It's okay. It's not the best, obviously. But it's probably good enough for me. So if we can move on to the. We move on to the decal sheet. Let's just see if we can get you in shot for that because again it's quite big. I hope you can see that. Um, they are quite nice decals. They are a bit shiny. I've used these decals before, not this sheet obviously, but I've used uh, the de uh, kinetic decals uh, on my um, Sea Harrier and they went down really well. Um, so yeah, that looks, that looks like nice and colourful. Um, I believe that this is wrong. I, I'll have to wait and see. Um, I believe I've read that this is like a wrong shape for the tail fin, but we'll have to just see, won't we? So yeah, that's good enough. Nice colours. Look all in register. Okay. So then obviously we come then to the um, instructions, uh, which I won't bore you with, 
going through. There's only, like I said, I think there's only 150 parts in this in this kit, so it's not like it's enormous. So I think I think it's going to go relatively together, relatively well. I've got my words out correctly. The scheme I'm going to be doing, just to let you know, will be um, will be the Australian one, that one there with the black top and the two-tone grey camo on the wings. Although that that one looks absolutely fabulous, but um, no good for me. And I actually quite like the other Aussie one as well. Oh God, decisions, decisions. Relatively basic kit, I think. Um, obviously with the kit as well, we get, um, excuse me, we get a bit of PE. So I won't get it out because we've all seen PE before. I hope that's not bleaching out on you, you can't quite see it, can you? If I held it at that, that sort of angle there. It's got belts, various grills, um, and odds and sods for stuff. It's quite thin. It should be it should be well well usable. Uh, we might as well while we're at it have a look at the glass. So excuse me. Let's see how sharp this is. Um, hope you can see that. I mean, it looks absolutely fine, doesn't it? That looks well good enough. Real nice and clear. See my finger in that. Really nice and clear. I haven't got a mask set for it, so but I think I can I think I can mask around these areas. Um, <laughs> it shouldn't be too bad. For a couple of the extras, I've got a I've got the master uh, pit up tube, which is quite nice. That should come out uh, if I can uh, glue that on properly. Unlike the other me me FRS one one, which keeps falling off. Um, that should come out quite nice. It's nice and uh, I do quite like the master stuff. And and. All the way from the far east, I managed to get the cockpit for it. I hope it's not whiting out on the screen. I'll hold it like that. This is what I say about the uh, the, the the kit part, the kit cockpit. It's nicely detailed. It's a shame because I'd have to lose all of it for. Um, for using this, but this is correct, whereas the kit part isn't correct for the the model I'm doing, which is why I've got this. And it looks like it's made by Edward, so there you go. So, uh, back to me. There you go then, um, a, uh, another kinetic kit, that'll be two, uh, in my last two kits obviously, or something like that. Um, it looks okay, it's a very small uh, part count, I guess you'd call it for a 32 scale. I don't do a lot of 32 scale, um, but 150 parts, you'd get that in, I think it's 150, hang on, yeah 150. It says there, look, 150 plus, so 151. <laughs> um, you'd get that in a in a 148 Airfix kit. So I think this will go together relatively um, uh, quickly. Uh, hopefully, it'll be w with not too much problem. Uh, it's going to be built for uh, the uh, first group build on the British Aviation in Scale Facebook group. Um, if you've come across this video and think, oh, what's, what's all that about? Um, it's primarily, the, well, the group is primarily obviously involved, uh, interested in British Aviation. Uh, our group build, um, Brit Bird Abroad it's called, 
try saying that after a couple of Long Island iced teas is obviously any any British aircraft uh, flown by an overseas air force. That's basically what it is. It's not. Yes, it's, it's as easy as that. It's quite simple. British aircraft British, flown by an overseas um, uh, air force. We've talked about this before. If you know about this, skip this bit. If you don't, come and find us, and and there'll be links and stuff uh, to the to the to the to the group and to the group build. So come along and join us. Uh, this is what I'm going to be doing. Well, I'm going to attempt to do. Um, it's going to be. I think I've said on the on the little video it's going to be the um, I might flash up actually let's tell you what we'll do I'll quickly flash up a photo of what it should hopefully it will turn up like something like that um, I've got some I've got I've got the paints I've got the PE um, and then we're off and ready ready to go so there you go. So that's it. Um, not much more to say. Hopefully we'll see you uh, on the group. Uh, um, on, on the group build as well. So um, let's go and do that. Uh, I'm, I'm waffling again. Again. Oh, I always waffle. But like saying goodbye. It's not very good goodbye. Okay, lads. I'm going to uh, I'm gonna get off and leave you to your, uh, to your life. Alright, chaps. I will see you around. Uh, happy modelling.